Well, hopefully when you're out camping with the kids, it's not all rush, 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 and there's plenty opportunities to relax. And looking at some of the accessories here on the Outwell display, there's some very nice options, some of which are, are not new for 2021. Um, we've already showed some of those in some of our previous videos that you can see, but there's a few things I just wanted to point out. This one, <laughs> I really like. This is the Tally Lake uh, chair, and it's a bit of a, a bit of a bucket seat, a slightly re reclining seat like this. It's padded as well, um, so it's fairly comfortable. And then you've got the Trinity Lake footrest. Now for me, at my height, this is perfect just to sit like this. Shell's a bit smaller than me. She found that a little bit high. So I think take a look at the measurements of what's going to work for you. But, you know, this is quite a good setup. I, found I could nod off right now. Um, of course, you've got another little thing here. This is the Cornelian L foldable storage. We've done some foldable storage. You might have seen the Barmouth. Um, one that we've reviewed before. Handy little, little little box, folds down flat like anything, useful putting things in. If you if you like seats like this, you put a throw or something in like this, just to keep warm. But this is, well, this is very nice. Now, if you're going camping for just one night at the weekend, you won't necessarily need to take camping furniture, really, not a great deal, maybe uh, some chairs and a table. But if you're going on a camping holiday away for a number of nights, then we found having some furniture to get things up and off the floor, tidied away so you're not just living out of bags, make a huge difference, just makes your tent function a lot better. Well, Atwell have been refining their furniture over the years and I really like some of the new additions. And they're little tiny things, but actually when you get to see it, it makes a big difference. Now, this is the Bahamas cabinet. It folds up, um, quite nicely with these foldable legs it's got extra little extra utility hooks on the side here although if you've got young kids you might want to take them off they do have little rubber ends to protect them um handy few little things are storing stuff on but here's where it's different to a lot of other tent furniture is that the doors here are rigid and they just fold down like that now <laughs> that might not seem a big deal you think oh so what but actually um there's no putting the drawers out, undoing this, that and the other. It's just a really quick way to get in and out of cover. There's no zips, there's no Velcro, just magnetic, open and close. So it's just looking for things like that on the furniture you can just make things really much more easier and less hassle when you're actually camping. Back to some chairs and this is the Olds Water chair. It's a fabric sort of feel, cotton sort of feel to it. And it's, it's more of your traditional sort of chair and you've got a reclining version here as well too where you can up, uh, lift up the arms and it can recline back so they're all very comfortable look this one as well you see this a little swivel drinks holder as well so you can swivel that out put uh, your can or drink in there or swivel it so it's out of the way this one's got one too nice nice little touches like that is what i like um and of course the little table down here, very useful. You can see our video, we've reviewed this before. This is the Outwell Nain low table. Simply folds up, um, the legs fold up underneath. It's got a little carry handle. It takes up no space whatsoever. Really, but it's really handy to put drinks on and other bits and pieces when you're at the campsite. Well, you can get a different shape chair like this, which is a wider sort of lounging chair. Um, I think, have a look, let's try these if you can in your local camping store. I like some of these chairs they've got, they're quite comfortable. This one I feel just to me doesn't support my back of my head quite as much. Um, but it still comes with that same thing, that fabric here, the padding here, and the uh, drinks holder. And another storage option here, this is Canadian, this is the tall one. Uh, again, handy little storage, they fold up flat, don't take up a lot of space to bring with you, pop up and that can be used as another little seat and store. We'll take adults weight too. Um, so it gives another, another little option to seat, but also great for storing things, putting things away. And carrying on the themes of the cabinets with these drawers, this is the Domingo. Again, solid magnetic fold out drawers. This one's got additional shelf in the middle there. Um, 
It's not removable by the looks of it. It's got ventilation at the back so you could use it for things like some of the food storage in here. And it's got another one at the bottom. Um, you know, you shove sh shoes in there and all sorts of things. I mean, it just, just keeps your tent nice and tidy. This is the Yellowstone Lake, a bit like the Tally Lake that uh, we looked at earlier with the reclining option. This one, uh, and again, always look at the measurements of the chairs. This one for me, me and my height, I quite like because it gives me um, a bit more support. Shell's a different um, height to me, so some of the smaller chairs gives her head support. But this one's quite nice, and I like the fact that it's more of your traditional reclining chair, so you can really kick back and have a little nap. And back to cabinets now, and here's the next size up. This is the Aruba. And yes, I know I'm geeking out a little bit on the cabinets, but <laughs> to me, this provides some really good storage options for your tent. The way the door just folds down, really easy to access. And here's the bottom here. Again, could be a perfect place if you've got in the front of the tent like this, you've got lots of shoes and stuff everywhere, which tends to happen with ours, all the kids putting the shoes in. That's a great place to put some stuff, maybe in a, a plastic basket so you don't get this too muddy, and just slide the basket out, stuff like that. So it's a really handy cupboard if you're thinking of getting some furniture for your camping family holiday. Alternative, you could go something like this. This is the double Padres, the Padres kitchen table double. Now we've reviewed the Padres um, kitchen table before and it's one I really like. This one is a double and it folds down in on itself so it don't take up too much space when you're transporting it. It's got this lovely bamboo top. Um, this really, to me, really looks quite smart and it's quite durable too. Um, hasn't got the magnetic doors on this one, they roll back, but it's a good amount of storage space with some the ventilation at the back here as well. So if you wanted to store some uh, food and bits and pieces. So to me, I'd use this really as a food prep area rather than where we've got a stove, um, somewhere to put stuff. And it hasn't come, doesn't come all the way down either. There's a bit of space underneath, but these sort of things are really useful. Um, you can get lots of sort of utility baskets to put bits and pieces in, just slide them underneath, out the way, pull them out, just keeps things a lot uh, a lot tidier in your in your tent. This is the Grand Canyon chair. It's your typical sort of folding camping chair that's um, also a bit of requirement. It's 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 cushioned along here and padded there. It's fairly wide. It's very stable, and you lift up the arms and recline away and relax. And here we've got some more accessories, lots and lots of bits and pieces here, which you can see in a lot of camping stores, but uh, we just thought we'd, we'd show a few here, including, you know, if you really like your sort of knickknacks and stuff like this, this little folding cutlery set, um, all very neat and tidy. We've got a lot of these bowls and preparation here. You've got this, with a strainer in here, ideal for salads, with the salad serving stuff, you've got um, knives, some of these got guards as well, so keep them nice and safe. Cutlery holders, um, you've got this cutlery holder that is also a cheese grater. So we know we've got a lot of people like ourselves that like to be a little bit of a, a gourmet sometimes at the campsite. Uh, it's always a bit of fun doing stuff. Um, here's a magnetic light as well. Um, obviously, if you've got a fabric tent, not much good, but maybe if you've got a motorhome or, or something like that you want to do. Um, to connect it to. And lots of storage pots. Now, of course, not all of these are camping stuff. I mean, you can obviously get storage pots and things like that. I know some people want to get the matching colours with the rest of the outwear range, but obviously you can get things from, from other, other retailers. Now, here's um, a cool bag. Now, you might have seen we've done a review of a white one of these. This is actually an inflatable cool bag. Um, a bit like an airbed, which means you can squash the air out of it and pack it away. So once it's finished, it doesn't necessarily need to take up a lot of storage. There's lots of powered cool boxes and options. Um, the heater as well, and we've got a review on this heater. You just watch our other video on that. Lots of bits and pieces, pumps and various bits and pieces. We've got a new range, we've got the uh, cool boxes down here and a new range of plates, millennium wear. So let's go around and have a look at some of the other bits and pieces around the other side. And 
if you wanted to go uh, full out well, so I know some of you do, you've got pots and pans for cooking and camping. Um, you've got new colours actually, it's a sort of bluish grey, I don't know when that's coming across on the video so much, we've got this bluish grey um, on, on here. Um, this is the water carry, which you can see we reviewed before. You've got a little um, collapsible draining uh, sink here um, with the drainer in the bottom. Ideal if you're doing the washing up at the campsite. Different size collapsible kettles. This is the one that we use and it works really well. We've got this in sort of the lime green colour. Um, here's a larger version of the same kettle. Um, collapse, more collapsible bowls, different size coffee strainer as well if you want to make your coffee. Collapsible mugs. Um, all sorts of collapsible things. You've got down the bottom here, you've got um, massive electric things. Now if you're on an electric hookup, then she's going to save you gas if cooking with some of these. You've got the electric griddle and you've got the induction hob and you can see it on another video of testing that and that works really well. So there are a few more accessories and options. Um, over here we've got um, Constellation sleeping bag. Now this is, as you can see from the temperature ratings down here, um, with a comfort of minus six. So um, very nice um, double bag, really nice feel to the touch on this. Very nice bag. And uh, over here we've got quite a few sleeping mat options including the dream boat now not in the blue this one is now in the green oh sorry this is the dream <laughs> this is a new one this is the dream haven ah that's why it's not the dream boat in the blue this is the dream haven this is a new dream haven i mean a number of different sizes on there and it's got the same valves that you see the flat valves that you see on the robins uh, the Robins mats. Now over here we've got the 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 the, the double sided dream boat mat which you've reviewed before. Now there's a slight change to this in um, 2021. Um, so they've changed the valves on here. So this has now got the same valves. So I'm letting the air out. The same valves as you see on the Robins. Very simple, very fast acting uh, for, dis for, for, um, for inflating and deflating. Um, the other thing they've done is they've changed the fabric slightly on, on the sides here. So used to only be able to manufacture these with stretchable fabric all the way around. Now they've worked out how they can bind the stretchable fabric with the static fabric. Well, what does that mean in practice? It means that the sides are now more rigid so there's less air needed going into the into the mat um, for it to inflate. So there's little technical improvements behind the scenes, but it's a, a slight tweak to the range that's going to make it just a little bit better. So I'm here chilling out, relaxing in the wing of this tent and inflatable sofa here. So a nice little spot to have a sofa. But there's something else they put in this tent um, and uh, well just let's show you what that is so yes this is what you see it's a projector screen now this is the outwell tent hanging system which we showed you in video before and we've seen all sorts of things lanterns plant pots all sorts of things held from it well now you can get an outwell projector screen it's uh made from similar materials to some of the tents it's blackened it's designed to be a really good definition for projectors but it gives that little bit different um, option if you wanted to put some entertainment in your tent for your family. Um, I know some people take uh, portable camping TVs and stuff like that, but you can get projectors now very cheaply. Um, and this is a much more flexible option. You can just simply thread and hang this up or take it down. Um, so it's a very flexible way 
to do things and I can see somehow kids wanting to watch a movie in the evening. Um, perhaps with some popcorn or something like that with a projector in the tent, especially if it's wet and we can't have a campfire. Mm -hmm.